Hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Today we are playing a bit more with Feed the Beast. We're going to go into a bit more detail on a few of the, the mods and stuff that I want to sort out. But first of all, I just want to show you this. Something to just prove really that I'm not going to be spawning stuff in because in Feed the Beast stuff is just stupidly abundant. It's just if you have a look at all of this, all of this lovely little all around. So yeah. Taking that into account, oh, I fell down a hole. Taking that into account, I will not be spawning stuff in because it's just so abundant in this game. I don't really need to. I will be flying though just to get myself out of the cave because we don't need the cave and there's no sign saying to exit. Uh, the exit is this way. Basically, today we are going to start with our magistry, uh, part of Thorncraft. Uh, it's not called magistry, but I decided to call it magistry. Right. First of all, we need a wand. A wand is created from a stick, gold nuggets, and a and a shard of any kind. I use fire because I'm in the desert, and fire shards commonly spawn in the desert. Then the next step is to make your Formenomicon. Place a bookshelf. I've still got creative on. Turn off creative. There we go. Get rid of the bookshelf. Okay. Right. And go pop. Right click that, and you now have your Formenomicon. Your Formenomicon is basically all you need to know about Magistry. Books. 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 Um, yes, yeah, so basically you start from here and you can do all your research from here. Bottle of Rainwater. Smoky Quartz. From here you need to start making stuff. You make stuff by searching things like this, like scribe tools. You need a glass bottle, a feather, and an ink sack. Well, we've got some glass and stuff. I've been working on a few different things. I turned that pyramid in our massive distance into a nice little house. I was going to continue working there, but then I thought, nah, we'll leave that place alone. We do need, uh, let's see, we need some ink sacks. We've got some in here. Um, oh, if you've also noticed, I updated our mod, uh, our textures, just so it looks a bit more nice, and I think we don't have any feathers. That's annoying. I thought we had some feathers. Um, yes, I've updated the texture pack in that so it looks all nice and lovely. No, we don't have any feathers. That's annoying. Uh, what else do we need, actually? We need to make an arcane work table, which is a table. And a table is planks, blanks, and slabs. Cool. Right, so we've got a lot of that. And we've got some wood. Let's use eucalyptus because I don't plan on using eucalyptus for anything else because it's crap. Pressure plate? No, I don't have a pressure plate. We want slabs. There we go. Slabs. Okie dokie. So a table is that, that, and two, three across. And I've got that wrong. It's that and that as well. Wait a minute. What's wrong with you, table? You're down there. I don't think I can make magic stuff out of eucalyptus. Crap. Well, let's return all of this and get our proper stuff then. For the only use of this stuff is to use it for crap reasons, which you don't really care. Okay, right. Uh, let's find our wood. There we go. Good wood. Right. Oak is going to work for us. And not the sort of oak from Professor. We don't want professors in our pods. Right. Okie dokie. We need that and that and that and that and that. We do need two of these because, well, actually we need three now that I think about it. Luckily, we've got enough slabs. Um, we've got enough planks. Right, so okie dokie, we need to get these out of our menu. I'll throw that up there for now. Right, well, and this room here, which I've designed, is going to be for our get out of the way. This is going to be our magic and like smeltery sort of place. Uh, that's a thing and that's a thing. Right, this here goes like that and I've screwed up. I'll take my wand back, thank you. I found it as well the use of a force mitt uh, is for stupidly powerful breaky downy stuff. Right, we need uh, scribing tools and the scribing tools need to go onto a table uh, because yes then we get the research table thingy if I remember correctly. I cannot remember because, yes, we need scribing tools, and to get the scribing tools, we need a feather. We need a feather, so we go kill some chickens. Let's go hunt some chickens. Right, uh, we got that, we got the ink, we got our wand. Uh, right. 
Okay, you guys can join me in a moment when I find some chickens and we'll be back with some more magicry. So, welcome back you guys. Um, so, yeah, while I was away I kind of made a little pen and gained a farm. Because I thought we're going to need some more animals and that. I didn't spawn them in, honestly. You can ignore this deleting. <laughs> well, basically, yeah, I couldn't find any chickens anywhere in just... I searched for ages, I couldn't find chicken or sheep, so I thought I'd spawn some of them. I found hundreds of cows, but I decided to spawn them to save luring them all the way over here. Yes, I'm a bit lazy. Um, right, so we need to make some scribing tools. Uh, scribing tools don't need to be done on that table. We can do some on this. We do that. We do that. We do that. Should be some scribing tools. Yes, here we go. We have scribing tools now. The scribing tools are used for making research on items, and you can make fun items if I can just get my table back. There we go, table. Place that down there and use your scribing tools, and boom! This is our research desk. Uh, you use your research desk to research things. Yeah, it doesn't sound that interesting, but it's pretty cool. Or that's why I'm a nerd who likes researching. Um, also, you may have noticed these. These are blank patterns. These are something to do with Hexit. Um, basically, to make a blank pattern, you need sticks and you need planks, and you combine the blank patterns with these. A park builder is, uh, I think it's planks and a, and a pattern. The pattern chest is plank, uh, a pa blank pattern and a chest. The tool station is a crafting table and a blank pattern, and the stencil table is a block of wood and a blank pattern. All of that is the hexit stuff which you can use to make renewable items, which we're going to be using because they're a lot more useful. The way that you work these, you get them on your... there, no, that's the wrong thing again. Aha, there we go, stencil table. You throw your stent blank patterns in there, click the next pattern, done, that, and then just go along like that, eventually having everything from it. Right, so here we are with basically all of our little bits and bobs. Uh, just get that off there. There we go. We've got all our little bits and bobs. All of these are used for different bits and bobs for Hexit. Um, basically in Hexit, rather than making shapes and stuff, you design your tools by parts. You build them in parts and push them all together to make something nice. Let's do a quick example of that, shall we? Because our tools seem to be breaking quite bad. So what we'll do is just delete these here because we were no longer going to need these. We'll grab some cobblestone out because cobblestone is one of the only sort of things I know how to work with at the moment because we need a smithery to make iron sort of stuff. Right, so here we go. We go onto our part builder. We go cobblestone up to there. Split that down there. Right, so there we go. And we go, for example, pickaxe head and where's the? there's a tool rod. And you grab your head, you grab your rod, you take your start shard, switch that out for a binding, because uh, the tool needs binding. Take your shards again. And we need a well, we need a tool rod. We need three tool rods. Um, let's find the tool rods. There we are. We need three of you. Take some shards. Right, we need three tool rods. And we need a axe head. And we need a shovel head. This is just the basic tools that we can use, just saves time to build them all now. We'll grab out all of our cobblestone because that can be useful. Anyway, then we take it over to the tool station and shove it all in there. And as you can see, they go in their little parts. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have a stone pickaxe made completely of stone. A stone shovel made completely of stone. And a axe made completely of stone. Because as you can see, you can make the things, and you can also, if you really want to, you can to save time and stuff you can use um, you can use I'll throw it up there and that, 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 that just leave that all in there um, yes to save time you can use wooden for the handles and stuff just I just like all of my stuff to be made of one material I don't know why I'm just odd like that um, yes so on with the research basically you need some paper we need to go find some paper, because I think I've got some in my chest. Not that chest. 
in this chest. Is there some paper? Is there some paper? Is there some paper? No, we're doing really, really well, aren't we? Alright, well, I think I'm going to have to leave that there. I'm going to go find some paper and make a paper farm and that. We've got our little chickens and hens and everything. Oh, some eggs. Um, and yeah, I'm going to finish out mining it down there. We're going to look into some smithery next. Close our doors so the chickens don't get in, or the cows, or sheep, or whatever that is. We're going to make down here, we're going to make a nice little sugar farm. So yeah, this has been it for thing, um, Feed the Beast. Oh, I just forgot I'd mention as well, this is what the four smiths do. They absolutely decimate sort of basic objects. Um, this is literally one click, um, and sometimes that one click can destroy multiple sand. I know sand's quite a weak material as it is, but you know, it's quite cool in my opinion. It helps get a lot of room, and especially because I build in the desert, these are like a godsend for me. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me. This has been Feed the Beast. We're going to continue this again some other time. So yeah, you guys have been awesome. I've been the OG Nerd. This has been Feed the Beast. If you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, press some comments down below. Until next time, you guys have been awesome. Ta-ra.